all know, things are looking grim. Neela has joined herself to the clockwork frame and the union has produced Clock Lock. She's out and free to terrorize the world. This blimp is still in motion to Paris. I can only assume Arpeggio's autopilot will activate the hate hypnosis light show. If that happens, there will be no stopping Clock Lock. She'll be immortal. But we still have a chance. In her new form, she'll need to draw a lot of energy from this blimp's engines to stay strong. If we can disable the engines, that should be enough to weaken her to a state in which we can attack. Getting at these engines will require all three of us to work together in perfect harmony. We've pulled off some tough jobs in the past, but they were just a warm-up round for what we'll be going through tonight. So now at all times we have a, you know, freaking demonic, immortal bird thing flying around. Where is she? Wait, where is she? I heard her a second ago. She's kind of always on patrol. Oh, there she is. I don't know why I heard her. But anyway, she's kind of always on the lookout for the main characters now. And you don't want to get spotted or else you'll probably die. Um, <laughs> let's go to... These sly missions, then, is what I suppose we'll do. And try to never get spotted by those spotlights. Ideally. How do I get up here, anyway? Yeah, jeez, that is a freaky sound to listen to, isn't it? To disable that engine room, you and I are going to have to work together. Happy to have you along, Bentley. What do you need me to do? Pickpocket the guard's keys to the engine room. Once you've got the door open, I'll take over. Okay, you should take your position. It's not gonna take me long to lighten these guys of their keys. Alrighty. Um, oh, that's quite a lot of keys there. I honestly think that the text of that is also really cool, though. Like, I can definitely see myself potentially using that style of text as a new thing when it comes to, like, intros and stuff. Like, currently, the handwriting text that I use of Harmonia is something that a friend kind of drew me as, like, a quick sketch just on paper where did she go it's throwing me off i'm so confused i guess i'll just glide down this is what i'll do oops oh she's right there hi hi yeah that's oh are you coming over this way are we gonna get a close-up look here I think she doesn't see really well. It only really sees under those spotlights. Yeah, that's that's creepy. That honestly, that gave me some nightmares as a kid. Honestly, what? What name it is? What the evil mechanical owl there? Clockwork slash Clockla now, which is a really dumb name, but ah oh well, it's creepy all the same. Character, not the name. The name isn't creepy. I'm in the middle of getting shot. Um. Ow. Okay, I need a few more keys here. Can I get heart things from? Or health things? Cool. Um. Oh crap. The text. Oh, you mean like the font? Whoa. What is happening? I just want to pickpocket dudes. That is all I want. Oh, they forgot about me. Cool. Cool. There's no way. <laughs> wow, that worked. Oh crap, but now I need to not die. Now I need to not die though. Party L.E.T. plate, huh? Where's I've heard of that one. I don't know a lot of fonts though. Wah! I hear her close. I don't know where she is. It's putting me on edge. Wait. 
It's still a weird thing to hide in. I guess I'll wait for this guy to go by, though. It is a wacky name for a text name, isn't it? You see nothing. Okay, I hear that. Oh, there she is. There she is with those spotlights. Gotta keep an eye out. But I miss paint, huh? The only fonts I've ever really gone through are ones in my video editing software already, typically. There's one over there. Where's the other one, though? Oh, over here. Let's go do it first. In that a case. Oh, it's up there. Oh, crud. How do I get up there? I need to do some climbing then. There's a ladder over here. Something that I don't use often. At 4 3 a.m., sorry, off to bed. Good night. I want to get a happy birthday. Thanks, it would be if I'm saying that correct. I always. I'm on edge about whether I'm saying things correctly or not. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. I hope you have a good night. Alright, let's see here. I should be able to make it across here. Should be able to. Wah. Yeah, here's this guy. Who I should be able to pickpocket. No problemo. Like this. A yoink. Engine room key. <laughs> oh, that didn't give, me, didn't give me as much height as I'd hoped it would. Yeah, that's a bit freaky, huh? Alright, I should be able to make this jump here. Should be able to, yes. Nice, nice. So the last one is over here, it looks like. All the way over yonder way. I was saying it correct. Nice. Wonderful. Wait, someone's after me right now? What's this? I don't know what that is. Weird egg thing. Alright, let's see here. So it's not one of the ones listed there. Maybe it's unique to that one site then? Oh, wah. A yoink. Oh, I missed. A yoink. A yoink. There we go. Drew key. Okay, Sly, I'm waiting by Whoa. the engine room door. Uh, let's do this. Where's the engine room door? What? Oh, it's all the way over there. I should have done the one over there. Second. Too late now. Guess we'll make our way over here. Um. Hmm. No! Oh. Um, that sucks. I love how he has a jetpack, but the fall can still kill him. So it's on other sites, just not that one. Huh. I think that'd be one of the ones that'd be listed on. It's probably not something I'd be able to find in my video editing software or something. Dang, I have to go around again. Don't I now? Wait, I climb this. Um, wait. So I'm going up there. So that means first I should go, um... Oh, no, the propeller! Oh! Down into the freaking depths, I guess. Okay, the ladder just rendered in. I hear her! I don't know where she is. And whenever I hear her, I don't know where she is. It freaks me out. Where? Oh, right there. Oh, hello! Oh, hello there, big evil bird! Whoa. That's a really good way to have you always be on edge by, you know, having that flying around. You know. Good way to put you on edge. Okay, Let's I open up all these up. locks. Oh, this one. I remember this. Boobity bop. Mm-hmm. Yep. Done. Yeah. I know. Don't worry, Murray. I'm not having any problems here. Don't worry about it. Well, maybe a little bit of problems. But not a few. Neato, thanks. <laughs> Let's boopity bop. Yeah, so you kind of have to take these out in pairs. 
is the case. Whoops. Never mind, I won't get that one right now. Oh, I'm bad. Boobity bop. I almost got the other one there by accident. Whoops. Whoopsie doopsie. There we go. Next one will be this one. Boopy bop. Whoops. Oh, I turned so slow. <gasps> that hit it and it didn't. Oh, nose. There, jeez. My goodness. It seems like it is pretty forgiving with how much time it gives you for that. That's the case. Cool. Up. Up and away. Um. Yep. Is one bomb enough? Yeah, I think one bomb looks like it's enough. Alright, time to go around bombing everything then. Time to go. Did I miss that one? No, I didn't. Okay, okay everything is AO fine. Alright, just a few more here to go. Oh, one of them got me there. Whoops, I guess I'm double bombing that one. Will do. Um, what am I doing? Where? That dude's still hanging out. Aha! Neat. Neat, neat. Let's head out here. I mean, it looks like it's still pretty darn active considering that electricity there, but what do I know? What do I know about that kind of thing? I'm not exactly an electrical engineer or anything like that. But to me, it looks like it's on, if I had to guess. It does seem on to me. But what do I know? <laughs> Alright, there's a Bentley mission over there, so let's go do that one. Since we're Bentley anyway. Can I walk on this still? Or is it too steep? I can just barely walk on it still! Wow! Woo! I made it! Holy crap. Wow, it's just floating over there because that hasn't been rendered yet. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I can hide under? He just went through a grate. What the heck? Okay. Okay. <laughs> that definitely makes sense. I wish I could open the Binocucom in midair so that I could, like, midair sleep dart people. I wish. Um, okay, this way. And this way. But yeah, I have, I have practiced quick scoping people in this game. Boopity bop. That's one of the engines that needs to be disabled. I won't lie to you, Murray. This is going to be a tough job that requires both our skills. My skills? Okay, Bentley, if you say so. First, I'll need to hack the station's controlling access to the engine room. Then, Murray, you'll need to head inside and use your muscle to finish the job. The Murray will be ready to go. Alrighty. Um, so we've got a few computers here. Um, how about you don't? Alright, let's go over there now, I suppose. Start plugging away. So yeah, there's several different missions that have duos of characters out of the out of the three. He'll just hack one-handed real quick. He always has to have his crossbow. Oh my. Also, we have bouncy things now. So I mean. Now we can do that. Sort of. How do I hit those there? That's one down. Oh! Oh! Show you the crappy ones you made yesterday before you experimented more. Some test ones. Boopity bop. It's nice how we get the bouncy thing now. So we can deal with those guys. Pew pew. Maybe I should try an angle of like this. Yeah, that seems to be the play. Nice. Then over here we can do this. What? Maybe this. Okay, more of an angle here. There we go. There we go. Perfect. 
employee fit, man. Good for you. So that one bouncy one. Wanted to stick around, huh? All right, that was a one out of three there. The one's over there. Yeah, those sounds are pretty creepy, huh? Eat a sleep dart. <laughs> well. Doesn't do anything. Feels bad. Whoa. Oh, I'm a little bit surprised that that. Honestly, didn't see me there. Whoop! Dang it! I freaking zoomed in too much to quick scope. I'm bad. My oh my. Okay. Uh, okay, so we'll go over to that one. Can I climb the ladder? It's Bentley. Bentley doesn't know how to climb ladders apparently. That sucks. Um. Do I have to go all the way around? Surely not. I could probably go up these stairs here. Maybe. Oop. Maybe I can go up these stairs? Hmm. And then we go... Do we have to go all the way around here? So it's up there. Dang. I think I might just have to. I might just have to take a convoluted route here. Potentially. Go around this way. Who's after me now? Who is it? Who needs to be sleep darted? Who needs to be sleep quick scoped? Alright, so now we're up to the proper height here. That we need to be. Whoops, dang, I was trying to freaking do this. Oh, he's moving. Never mind. <laughs> Okay, let's get across here while we still can. Before it tilts even, even more. It's probably- I, dang, I keep zooming too much to freaking do that. Wait, is it- which side is it on here? Oh, it's right- oh. I probably wasn't intended, but okay. <laughs> probably I wasn't intended there. Um... Wah! They got me from around the corner there. Whoa! Takes a little while for the turret to actually change direction there. How about new? No, you don't do that. Come on. Here we go. That's one. One out of two things unlocked. I was shooting that, but it didn't matter. Boy. Ow, they're sniping me from around the corner there. Unbelievably rude. Come on. Get the angle, Bentley. That's not the angle. Come on. There we go. That's two locks. And now we work at the little shield here. Bit by bit. Slowly but surely. Come on. Why do these things have so much health? Come on. There we go. Done. All right, one more to go. One more. Um, hi. Dang, I thought that might hit the barrel. Um. That didn't hit him? Whoa. Whoops, I got a little bit overexcited there, you could say. Uh-oh. Um. Aw, oh, crud. Don't come. Okay, where is... We can probably just go around this way like we did before. Yeah, we can. Um. That's a little bit nerve-wracking. During that Discord that you weren't invited to, that was for the collab into a Discord for giving people birthday gifts? Is that actually what a Discord server is becoming now? Because that sounds pretty spicy there. No! No, 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 Okay. Guess we gotta go back up again now. Uh-oh. Um. 
oil? I think I gotta go around again and climb back up now. This is what I gotta do. Hmm. Wah! Had a lot of fun of it, and your reaction was very rewarding. I'm glad that it was there. Yeah, I wasn't sure how to properly react to that. Um, how about you don't? Jeez, my quickscopes. In this freaking game. I say that as I miss. I say that as I miss one. Alrighty. Another computer over there. Wah! My oh my. Okay, last terminal out of these three. Do it, Bentley. Do it, hack the thing. What is this shot? What was that camera shot there? Why does it put me behind a bunch of these immediately? Pew 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 pew. Why is it so durable? Why is there so much health to it? Oh, it was giving those dudes time to spawn, huh? Okay, let's hold them back. They cannot get past my wall. Cool. Just keep firing because I know that they're still gonna be around. Yep. Come on. Push him back. You shall not pass. Oh my goodness, more of them keep spotting. I might just have to force my way through here. Oh, no damage. Make way for the Murray. Looks like you'll need to lift all those hmm. giant cylinders. Once they're locked in the oh. up position, you'll be able Boy, to take them out from the top level. Time to mash a lot of buttons. Heads up, pal. Time to prepare to do what Yoshi mains do in Smash Bros. Time to mash buttons until something happens. That's what we do. Wah. Bam, yeah, man, Discord for the collab. Wah, around the time that we first knew. It was your beat it. So sometime last month-ish. From what I, if I had to guess there, because I know that that was around the time that I was asked there. Time to mash buttons. Like that. Whoa. Okay, don't hit me while I'm mashing my buttons. Don't hit me while I'm mashing them. Cool. That hurts me? This jetpack hurts me? That sucks. Um, I picked up an explosive and threw it on from close range by accident there. Mash the buttons. Okay. Time to mash more buttons. Was the day it was created? Huh. So February 10th then. Um, uh oh, he's gonna. Uh oh. Yeah, I figured he'd hit me there. My goodness, the part of Sly's theme in this theme is getting really sporadic now. It's going. Time to mash buttons! Jeez, I'm lifting it so fast now. So fast! Bam! Everything's unplugged, I think. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Will do in that case. Time to. Whoops! Remove all of these cylinders. Poopity bop. Bentley had bombs, we have this. The Thunder Flop. Alright, just a couple more here. There we go. Neat. Now, head into the control booth and pull the plug on this thing. Sounds good. Let's do it. Another engine bites the dust. Do, 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 do. That's another mission done. Mission complete. I am stuck on the railing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think for tonight at least, I'm probably just gonna, <laughs> you know, collect my thoughts and then maybe do some uni stuff after stream. <laughs> for now, I think there's too much going on right now for me to think about editing anything at the moment. Too overwhelmed, <laughs> I suppose. That'd be interesting, though. Okay, there's a Murray mission over there, so that works out nice. We can go start it now. 
Yeah, it would certainly be interesting there. Can I make this jump as Murray? Nope, he doesn't want to grab on. He didn't want to grab the thing. Hi. Oof. <laughs> Away you go. Hey, look, a health thing. Sweet. Whale? Bonk. Kind of a rude awakening there. Away you go. Cool. <laughs> and away. Alrighty. So we've got this Murray one over here. Murray, it looks like I'm gonna need some help getting into that engine room. Happy to help! Bentley tells me that the door to that room is locked down by wall-mounted power stations located throughout this blimp. I'll need you to take out all the power stations and then pry open the door by hand. No sweat, Sly. Alrighty, we got another power station one. I think the last time we did this was in the very first area of the game. I don't think there's been another one since. So, you know. And hello, Aniki. Hello, hello. By the way, I saw your message on Discord there, and thanks. Thanks for the happy birthday wishes as well. I couldn't, like, actively respond at the moment because stream is stream there. How are you doing? Bonk. Um, I need another thing. I need another barrel. Do you know Sly by any chance, or the Sly games? Because they're real good. Oi. Oi. Oh, bam! Cool, that's one. <laughs> that's one done. Do I need to be on the upper level? No, the lower one here. Man, don't mind editing colors since you do it with, uh, with card editing. It's gonna be less tedious than that, though. Yeah, since something's already made there, I assume. Is that why it'd be less tedious, or would it be a different reason? Oh, look, I can grab these egg things. Cool. Cool, cool. What is this laser here? What is the point of that laser there? All good? Are you gonna say it again anyway? Happy birthday. Thank you. I appreciate it. And Adam was here as well. Wait, can I? Oh, dang, I can't reach there. Oh, but there's one of these, one of the respawn points for these things right here. Wah. 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 What is happening? Oh my goodness. Yeah, you've actually played the sliders more the first than the second. Oh, nice. Yeah, the first one to me was kind of iffy, but I love the second and the third ones, and I love the trilogy as a whole. The first one's the only one that I'm like iffy on, but I adore two and three. And one is just kind of like the one that I play because it complements two and three that much better when it makes it a trilogy. Is the case. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played this game here. There's a third one you didn't know about it? Oh, I gotta tell you about it later. I mean, there's technically even a fourth one after that, but we, we don't talk about that one. Another, another group, Senzaru Games, got the right to it there. And they freaking... They completely messed it up. We don't talk about that one. We don't talk about that one. It's on the PS3, and I'm never going to play it on stream. But I will play the third one. I will play the third one. The third one's incredible. And a wonderful finale to the trilogy. But we don't talk about the fourth one. <laughs> and then freaking Paul Winod comes and claims the number one spot yet again with freaking 3,000 bits. Also, Paul has the number two badge during that. That's probably the only time I'm ever going to see Paul with a number two badge, it feels like, continuing to keep taking the- Ow! Continuing to keep taking the number one spot. This is something to screenshot and put in the scrapbook right now. A freaking number two badge. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for the 3,000 bits, Paul. That is an insane amount. Like, what the heck? Especially with, like, how much Twitch charges extra when it comes to, like, actually getting bits. Like, with the cut that uh, Twitch gets there. Poor Anima had the number one badge there. Briefly tasted the taste of victory there. But yeah, as far as you're concerned, the fourth doesn't exist. Good. Good, good. But I'll tell you about the third one later, because it is really good. And is my favorite out of all three of them. Um, wait, where's the last thingy? Where is the- oh, it's over- oh, it was over there! I walked right past it! What the heck? I walked straight past it here. Meh! Wah! 
I can't get up here. My oh my. But yeah, that is literally so Literally what? When Palm takes first place, no punches are pulled, huh? What? Le hold on. Oh, hold on a hot second here. Uh, hold on, let's just get our bearings for a hot second. Yeah, what? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, what? Just hold on. Um, well, Paul Badon, thank you so much for the freaking 8,000 now total bits this stream, and now at a total of 37,372 according to the leaderboards there. Three, like, <sighs> that's literally the kind of thing where it's like, how do you even say thanks to that? It feels like saying thanks to that kind of thing isn't enough. You know, it's like, oh, you say thanks so much. I appreciate it. It's like, that doesn't express. Uh oh, that, that, oh, I hit that by accident. I almost got seen by the freaky mechanical bird monster in the sky there. You can apparently see through this. But like you say freaking. <laughs> you say like, thanks so much for that. And it feels like it doesn't express it enough because that's freaking 8,000 bits. <laughs> so. So if somebody knows how to properly express thanks for that kind of thing, let me know, because I don't know how to. <laughs> I don't know how it's done. But like, at the end of the day here, thanks so much for that, Palm. Like, Polodon and Anima have both given an absurd amount of bits to the point that it has been like one of the biggest like, financial helps to this stream and has been the thing that has made it possible for me to have equipment like this to have a freaking good microphone to have floodlights to have a studio light to have nice cameras stuff like that it's all thanks to like people in general who've you know done stuff like that but mostly Paul and anima who've given like absurd amounts there like it's thanks to your guys' insane generosity that i'm able to stream with awesome equipment like this you know so like in that sense i guess you could say that it's thanks to you guys that you know the stream as it is today is even possible like with this level of quality like with this level of equipment like that is the truth of the matter at the end of the day is the case but yeah scream thanks easy at the top of your lungs no way no way jose Wait, I have to play around with contrast there, Lyrical. Contrast is always one of those tricky things to well, mess around with, but why not? Because I'm not the only person in this household. And then people will be confused as to why the heck I'm screaming at the top of my lungs. I'd be like, well, what the heck? Okay, those lasers there are slowly moving and helping me get to the other side. Slowly but surely. Across we go. But yeah, ugh! Freaking this entire day when it comes to the stream. I've been freaking flabbergasted as to what's As to what's been happening as I was saying Hey, it spawns me up here cool <laughs> But whoops Anyway freaking thing whoops <laughs> I died again Everybody who stopped by the stream tonight it's meant a lot everybody who's gone out of their way to do freaking crazy generous mad lad things like that it i don't know what's more than means a lot dang i keep doing that it also means a lot but you know it freaking goes above and beyond as well i guess is one way to say it okay this section is not hard i don't know why i'm sucking at it <laughs> okay Oh, I know why. It's because I'm freaking distracted by people being crazy generous mad lads throughout this entire stream. That is why. Because now I can't concentrate on the game because people are freaking mad lads. That is why. 
Sometimes you have to ult back and forth like that. Um, <laughs> go beyond. Time to go beyond, Super Saiyan. I've never actually seen Dragon Ball, I'm sorry to say. I know that's something that you're not, like, supposed to say on the internet that you've never seen. But, you know. But, you know. Cool. Alright, we don't have to worry about the electricity there. Yeah, I'm sorry, I haven't seen it. I know a lot of people that I knew in elementary school would see it and would talk about it at school, and I always have no idea what they were talking about because I've never seen it. So, you know. I'm pretty sure the last mission we have here. Oh, that was actually a My Hero Academia reference. I just see Go Beyond, and I think of that Dragon Ball reference. It's, but oh well. I know not so formal watches with that there. That's one that I've never seen myself. Yeah, it's not that important. I was thinking about jumping for that bottle, but I changed my mind. <laughs> I changed my mind there. I'm sorry I'm mixing them. Since we can't get in, I figure we'll have to destroy it from the outside. I hope you're carrying some heavy explosives, Bentley, because that engine isn't small. It just so happens that there's a ready supply of explosives already available on the blimp. Walk one of these TNT barrels up to that engine room to destroy it. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? The initial payload in that TNT barrel won't be powerful enough to do the job. If you pick up three magnetic chargers, you should achieve the necessary blast force to destroy the engine. It's simple, really. Just get close to the chargers, and they'll automatically attach to your barrel. All right, let's blow stuff up. All right, say farewell to the final TNT barrel sequence in any Sly Cooper game. This is the last time we'll see it. Goodbye, TNT barrels. Time to see you off with this mission here. But yeah, anyway. Whoop. Anyway, yeah, I know I'm mixing two different animes there. I'm sorry. And, and Paul also gifting a sub to Lyrical after that statement. Hold on, wait, I gotta let this play out and then I gotta replay it with the audio on because you don't get to hear it right now. You don't get to hear it right now because I turned off the desktop audio. So hold on, let me let me do things in order here real quick. <laughs> hold on, let me do things in order. So I'm, I'm mixing two different animes. I'm sorry about that. I don't really know animes really well. And Aniki, no, I have not seen Dragon Ball. I'm sorry to say. I have not actually seen it. And Lyrical wish you had the money to give you bits, but don't have enough for PMD1 DX. You have to either have your dad help you pay, and you have no phone service either. You don't have to worry about it. There, like I've said a few times on this stream, there's literally millions of Twitch streamers every month. So even just spending time here overall, like any other stream, is already like more than I can ask for. Never mind the freaking crazy stuff that you all organized earlier this stream when it came to that all. I'll replay that now that we have the sound going. So now we get that. And Palm, falling on, gifting another sub with a total of 29 gifted subs in the channel now. Thanks so much again, Palm. And Lyrical, welcome to Team Enharmonic, as we call it here. Though sometimes I forget to call it that. Hope you enjoy the emotes and the sub badge. And thanks so much again, Palm. And freaking 29 gifted subs in the channel. Insane. Yeah, you're not wrong at... You're not wrong, Anima. <laughs> Dang it. But yeah, might need to revise your list of anime recommendations for me. For me, sorry. Now that you know that I haven't seen Dragon Ball. Yeah, during a stream where I was playing against a friend of mine from the Smash 4 days when I was playing Smash Ultimate against him. Freaking Paul went on, comes out of nowhere and gifts like 26 subs in one stream. Which was the boost that we needed to get to like all five emote slots unlocked like that so whoop those 26 gifted subs plus like the subs that we already had in the channel plus the like ones that i made up the difference with to get the 50 which was only like 10 or 12 or something like that like it wasn't a massive ton got us to the freaking 50 sub points to get five emotes five tier one emotes on this channel so if anybody ever wonders why there's you know five emotes available on the channel as a sub palm it on is why Palmanon is the reason why. That is not an exaggeration to say. Oh yeah, I gotta pick up those things. Oh yeah, this is a really stressful TNT barrel thing, because you have to take it, like, all the way across the world. All the way across the world there. 
So yeah, they're gonna try to sell after you get a more stable income. Yeah, up to you there. Like, like I said, I never expect anybody to sub or anything like that, considering. Be stopping by. Wait, how do I get up there? Stopping by and hanging out is already more than enough. I have no idea how to get up there. Do I have to go all the way around? Uh. Okay, I'm glad that he wasn't going the way that I'm going. I think I have to go, like, all the way. To oh, I have to go this way anyway. Okay, that's fine then. That's A-OK. -okay. Why is my nose so itchy now? My oh my. Uh, Disoway. I can just drop down here, right? Wah! You see nothing. Yeah, this is a really long TNT barrel mission. To be fair, it is the last TNT barrel mission in this whole series of games. So, so we get a long one this time. We get a bit of a long one. There's another guy. Another dude. You suspect nothing. Never seen anybody tiptoe fast. He's right up to my barrel. Go away. Go away. Freaking leave. <laughs> but yeah, you're not wrong there, Aniki. I don't think I've seen anybody tiptoe as fast as Sly either. He tiptoes pretty hastily, doesn't he? Master of tiptoe in here. At first, I thought that dude was like bugged out and stuck on me, and I was doomed to just like fail the mission on the spot there. Wait a second, how do I get up there? Because I can't jump. So I can't take these ramps here. So how do I get up there? I'm so confused. Um. Your feet would get cramped at that speed? My feet get cramped even just sitting here randomly sometimes. And I don't know why. So yeah, mine definitely would as well. I guess we go across this way again? Oh. You see nothing. Also, I love how these guys wear like stilts. Don't tell me I have to start from the beginning again. Also, the barrel just vanished the moment I got spotted. Oh, I have two out of three, thank goodness. Wait, it's over there? Oh, because I started on this side because that was the last one that I... Oh, okay. Oh, okay, phew. Thank goodness I don't have to do that whole thing over again, unlike that one in the freaking third world. Against Rajan there. That one. <laughs> I failed that one so many times. You see nothing. You see nothing. It's also strange now that the music is gone, since we're sneaking around. You see nothing. Oh ho ho! Oh ho! I'm French now, apparently. Um, <laughs> how do I get up there? How do I ascend to the next level? Um, but yeah. Whoa! Yeah, definitely not the super. Super stable pit. Wait, can I not climb this? Really? Super stable at the moment, then. Yeah, that's definitely one of the tricky things about work is actually being able to get in enough hours and such. Like, for example, two summers ago when I was helping out with duct cleaning for a summer job, we and it was like a brand new thing that Weiss Johnson was doing, so not a lot of people knew that Weiss was doing it. So a lot of the jobs we were doing were like, friends and family of workers there since it was a new service that they only just started offering. We only had as many hours as there were houses to do work on. So some days we would have, whoa. Some days we would have like one house and just go home. Some days we would have like four houses and be stuck at work until like six. But yeah, I can see why you say that there. Something that was really cool, though, at Whis, was our boss never wanted us to be without hours. So, and there were days that we had no jobs at all. So instead, what he would do is he would have my partner essentially just shadow somebody else, like watch their work and try to learn from them. And I would work in the metal shop and I learned how to work metal and basically run sheet metal through machines so that it was made into like the shapes that need to be in for them to use like in duct work as they're assembling it for newly constructed houses and stuff. Oh, no one questions the blue TNT. Yeah, TNT. Who's attacking me? I was... I don't understand. Yeah, TNT is normally this color. How do I get up there? 
I actually don't know how to do it. How do I get up there by walking? How do I do it? I don't know how to get up there. I'm so confused, but yeah, next week I'll actually get a really good paycheck, so it kind of makes up for this week. That's good, at least. Are you having any luck when it comes to job hunting still? I'm trying to find some new places. How to- Oh, I remember now! Oh, I remember. I don't know how the devs expected people to know this, but I just remembered what I have to do. I don't know how they expected people to know this without, like, searching the entire place, but I just remembered what I had to do. You have to go this way, actually. And then you have to go on this, and then it lifts you up. That's what you have to do. I just remembered. I don't know how the devs expected people to know that. I'm glad I remembered. You got an interview? That's good. Like, has it already been done, do you mean? Or do you have, like, an interview scheduled? Coming up. Okay. Nobody questioned the freaking blue TNT with charges on it. Some extra charges attached to the side here. Thank goodness I'm still not using that wireless controller where Sly would jitter. Okay. Thank goodness I switched to the wired controller or else I totally would have died just now. And that would have sucked. All righty. Over this away. Ah, final charge. Um... You're one of our best candidates, gotta schedule it. Oh, so that sounds promising then. I wish you luck with that. Mind me asking what kind of work it would be in? Yeah, those aren't ears on the blue TNT. That's not sticking out. I can't even hear Bentley, he's so quiet. Will do. The longest TNT barrel mission in the series and the last one. So right now, we are in the final TNT barrel. Oh, it has a bottom boat where like our legs are sticking through it. Cool. So not only will we be blowing up this engine and saying farewell to it, but we'll be saying farewell to TNT barrels in Sly Cooper games with this TNT barrel here. Unless they include one in Sly 4, but I'm never going to play that game, so <laughs> we'll never know. I refuse to play it. Do you see nothing? <laughs> Daddy Phantom V. Daddy Phantom. I used to watch that as a kid, like with, you know, cereal in the morning sometimes. White Castle. So it'd still be fast food, but it'd be different then. All right. Say farewell to the final TNT barrel in Sly Cooper. That should be the last time anyone puts that engine to use. And an unexpected windfall. I've been contacted by Inspector Fox over the shortwave radio. She's well aware of the dire situation we all face if Plakla becomes immortal and has agreed to join forces with us so that we can destroy the robotic bird. The only catch is that she's unable to locate this blimp on her radar. To help her hone in on our position, we'll need to boost the strength of four local radio towers. Once Inspector Fox is in range, she'll take one of us on board to act as a tail gunner in a dogfight against Clockla. This is it. We don't have time for another plan. We're almost over Paris, and if that hate hypnosis light show goes off, well, you know the story. I bumped my desk there, there. So if you wonder where that tap was, it was me doing that by accident. So this now... Oh, that's not the final boss, actually, never mind. I was about to say it's the final boss. Okay, Sly, we need to send Carmelita a radio pulse so she can hold in on the blip. To do that, I'll need you to get on top of four very tall towers. They are too big to climb and too tall to jump up normally. What's this all got to do with this thing you've got me wearing? It's an experimental mega jump pack. By pressing the R2 button, you'll perform a huge jump. So be careful. All right. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Dang, I was typing. I was typing freaking because I typed during cutscenes to keep talking in chat. But I've now typed most of it, so I'm going to finish typing it. Well, oh, let's turn chat back on. I'm going to finish typing it. Hold on. Bam! There's my message. Uh, <laughs> There's my message there. Anyway. Wait, how do I do it? 
Yeah, like that. I wish I could use this in more sections of the game because this is actually so good. <laughs> I love this thing. It's great there. Yeah, it might be a USA thing then. I have not heard of it before myself. I also don't know a lot of companies, but... Um... Well, guess we'll go this way first. We Like, why don't we get that thing in more areas of the game? Like, the super jump is so much fun. Maybe it's a gadget that you can buy that I wasn't aware of that you can unlock after this point. That'd be cool. But as far as I know, it isn't. So they just kind of give it to you for this. Am I supposed to go this way, maybe? Go across here. And then this way. Oh. Oh, I have to jump through this way. Like, this is so cool. I love that. Why can't it be available in more set? Oh, the wrong button. I hit the normal jump button. Bah. Bam. Like, it's so cool. Whoa, I didn't stay on top of it. Whoops. Whoa, I didn't stay on top of that either. Whoa. So now we go this way. Like, that's so much fun. I wish it was available in more areas. So now we've got one over here. Wow. Lots of formal lows of it, too. Yeah, someone else from the States, then. Maybe we just don't have them here in the land of Canada. By chance. Wah. Oh. I thought I was <laughs> pressing circle onto this part here. Wah. Whee. So much fun. Whee. Cool. Also, my stream testing screen is frozen. I hope the actual stream isn't frozen. I'm just going to refresh that quick. Okay. The other two are over there. <laughs> Let's head on over. And hope that I don't hit these things and it takes on my paraglider. Maybe I'll actually go around them. Yeah, cool. Can I land on this? Oh, no! No! Bye! <laughs> I'm out! And hello, SJ! Hello, hello, how's it going today? Oh, super jump! Welcome to the shenanigans. <laughs> of wrapping up this game. Which will be beating in one sitting here. I'm currently nearly 11 and a half hours in. And the next stage, I'm pretty sure, is the final boss. But yeah, um, there's a tower over there. Also got a compliment in your work for cleaning the lobby by a customer. Made you happy. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, compliments by customers are always the best. Probably the best case I had with a customer when I was doing duck cleaning was somebody who went to the same Taekwondo school as me. So we started talking about, like, Taekwondo schools around the city and different teaching styles and... We were talking about like how things work at the dojang that we both go to and stuff like that so it was uh oh it was cool i'm playing persona 5 again nice if i ever get a ps4 i'll play that game hi looks like carmelita has picked up on our signal she's now headed on an intercept course directly for us <laughs> Okay, sorry about that there. Now my super jump thing's gone. Feels bad. My alarm clock was taken off of R2. Let's put it back on, I guess. Said so this is one of the cleanest McDonald's lobbies you've ever seen. That's awesome, then. Persona 5 is addictive? That's what I've heard. I've certainly heard that there. But yeah, if I ever do wind up picking up a PS4, it's probably one of the games I'd wind up streaming. But no current plans to pick up that console. Not quite yet. Is this the final boss? That's the final boss. That is it. Oh, I thought I was Bentley for a sec. I was about to sleep dart him. <laughs> well, let's head into the safe house for a hot second. And then head out. Oh, that guy needs to forget me. But yeah. You would love to see a Persona 5 stream? Yeah, if I ever pick up that console, that'd be one of the first things I'd play. There's a few games on the PS4 that... I'd be interested in playing and streaming through. Like, I don't know if it's enough to warrant picking up the console at the moment. Maybe if I get a well-paying summer job. Maybe, maybe. Alrighty, let's wrap up the game here.